Okay. Hello. Um, it's Jamie, as you can probably tell. And I'd like to start this video firstly... Well, I'm in Skyrim, as you can see. I'm looking at the pretty sky here. And I'm attacking a, a stronghold of some kind, and I keep getting killed, so at this point I'm looking for another way in. That's the, that's the context. And you'll see how things go down. It's fairly exciting. Um, now, I'd just like to start this video with an apology. Firstly, to Joel, because I'd, he knows I'm making this video, but we haven't really had much discussion as to what it's going to be about. Uh, and I don't want to say anything that he disagrees with, so I'm going to keep discussions brief. But also to you guys, the audience, for our absence. Um, and it's going to be a number of updates, but brief, as I said, because I'm sure, 100%, Joel and I, when we get together again, We'll make one of these videos together. I just thought I'd make this because I, truth be told, I know Joel and I both hate this sort of, oh, there's a hand, uh, this sort of radio silence, so to speak, as we've both been crazy busy. So first, first question, uh, where were we, what were we doing, etc. Joel and I are both very heavily, truly full-time students at this point. Uh, I'm in my final year of high school and Joel is at university. I have just finished my final ever high school exams. They were a very big deal, as you know, they determine what university you get, you get into. And Joel uh, has been taking some very strenuous units, etc. I don't understand the full workings of it, and I don't want to say on his behalf what he's been doing, but I know he's also been very busy. He said to me himself that this has been more, more difficult than high school ever was these past few weeks, months, etc. And so, perhaps understandably, we've We've been trying to keep, keep up content, but it's been difficult. Uh, and so, you know, exams, assessments, school, uni, etc. That That is the simple answer to that question. Uh, perhaps the more complicated question is, why were there no videos? Um, we, we, did, we did have some content to put up, and that was the daily, <laughs> in, inv in inverted commas, daily series, which rapidly stopped becoming daily. Uh, there was that content, but Joel has, has expressed to me, and I agree with him, you know, he's a smart boy, uh, that he felt that putting those videos up on their own was hurting the channel a little bit, perhaps more than it was helping it, uh, in the sense that th the life of this channel has for some time been sort of a struggle between uh, quality and quantity, so there was a, a time period where we went, we went for 100% Oh, well, here I'm sneaking up on this guy that's killed me a bunch of times. Um, I thought I heard something. We were going 100% quality. And so we'd put up, you know, great tutorials. You know, hours of work put into those. I mean, you won't believe it. It was, it was a real effort, to be honest. Uh, but they were up infrequently. And people would complain about that. So, you know, we, we thought we'd change tack a little bit. And so then we went for majority quantity so they were largely unedited videos and we tried to put them up once a day and both of those took their own toll so to speak and neither of them were a perfect solution we anticipated you know that the, the unedited videos would be would be easy and we could keep them up no matter what even exams but it, it became immediately apparent it was taking still a toll because they still have to be uploaded every night they still have to be edited to a degree you still have to get together to record, you know, many hours of content, and so both of these things were a problem. And Joel said it first, and I do agree with him that putting up just the quantity, so to speak, so just the daily series without the um, without tutorials or you know perhaps more quality things, was hurting the channel because people would come and they just see sort of you know largely unedited things. Uh, again, I don't want to say too much on that. I'm sure he has his own opinions that I don't want to incorrectly voice. So, we decided we'd take a break until we could have more time to properly do things together. Joel and I are both taking time off um, to spend more time with this channel, and he'll say that himself. And you'll hear that from him too. We're both taking significant amounts of time off so that we can put more effort into this, because I really feel like this could be something special. You know, there are 60,000 of you on the other end of this line, and we want to, you know, do right by you guys. And so, I think perhaps it would be more, it would have been more professional to, you know, wait a couple weeks so I could fully understand uh, our situation before I said anything, but truth be told, 
uh, I hate maintaining this sort of radio silence, as as I know Joel does too. We both we both do. You know, there there are, as I said, sixty thousand of you on the other end of this, and it has felt a little bit like with messing you guys around by by not fully understanding but while professionalism is important we we both I know we both still do this stuff do this because we love it and so I want I wanted to treat you guys a little bit more like more like friends in this sense and let you know that we are still working things out a bit before before I come out before we both come out with an official statement because we, we really do care about this. And so all of this is still in the works. And Joel and I have hours of discussion ahead of us. And so I don't, I don't want to talk too much about the specifics without him present. Because I'd hate to say something that he disagrees with, as I've said. But I just wanted to put something up to let you guys know that we are still alive. And playing games and loving life. And... Really, I don't know how to end this. Official plans will be up in the future. But this was me killing a bunch of barbarians for my bounty. And I really hope, and I know, I don't hope, I know, Joel and I will be back to talk to you guys soon, together, with plans and exciting new things. And I'm really genuinely grateful that so many of you stick around despite our... Uh, <laughs> inadequacies, so to speak, in terms of consistency. So we really are trying our best for you guys because we care about this. And if we didn't, we wouldn't be here. So we'll see you guys soon. I might just leave the rest of this footage here because I think it's fun. And without further ado, thank you very much for listening to this ramble. And I'll see you on the other side. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them.
Ah! <laughs> 